and welcome to this brief screencast that shows you how to use Lecto together with Travis on GitHub pages. What you need is um, a GitHub account and you have to have Lecto installed. I'm going to use the quick start here, but you can use this in an already existing project just as easily. So we're going to just uh, name this project, let's just call, call it Lecto Demo. And then if we open up Lecto Demo, um, in our editor, there will be a project file. If you have your own project, just modify this file. What we need to do is we need to add a new server. Uh, we just call it GitHub Pages. And then we add the target URL, which will be GitHub Pages plus HTTPS. And then uh, it's your username and the name of the repository you want to um, publish the changes to. This can be the same repository as the as the source code uh, of, of your website. So I'm just going to call this lector demo. And then I'm going to initialize um, in my repository, uh, in my folder, I'm going to initialize a new repository. I'm just going to commit all of this. So like this first. Now we need to create a repository on GitHub. Just call it lector demo. And we're going to push this up. So now the first part is done. We have um, we have a server we can push to that Lecto knows about. But now we need to set up Travis. And for this we can just go to travisci.org. If you're if you don't have an account yet, there will be a big sign up button. Um, and I will use your GitHub login to sign in. All we have to go after the sign in is go to accounts and then synchronize so that we see our new repository. And then we can enable it. Now, at this point, uh, Travis doesn't know yet how to build um, how, how to build the Lecto project. So if we go to the Lecto website and head to the documentation, then um, deployment and Travis CI, there's a um, piece of code we can copy into the Travis YAML file. I'm just going to do this. Just copy this in. And now we have to go back to Travis and set up uh, two things. First, we need to set up Lecto deploy username. This is the user it will use for deployment. So I'm just going to use um, the actual user. I can make it visible. And the second thing we're going to use is uh, we're going to set up a password. And for this, the best thing to do is um, you go to your settings and then you go to personal access token and you generate a new token, which is just for this deployment. I'm just going to call it like the deploy. And the only thing it needs is access to your repos. So I'm going to remove the rest. And now we can copy paste this token into uh, Travis. And we may have to make sure that this is set to off because otherwise people can see the, uh, the password basically in the log, which would be not so good. So we add this, and now if we go to current, you can see there hasn't been a build yet. But if we um, add the Travis file, and we commit this, I just push it up. Travis should start building um, the project. Just have to wait a bit, then it started building. So this will, uh, on Travis, it will download Lecter and build the website and then push the changes to GitHub pages. So if we can now go to uh, our repository back, we can see that this is the master branch where we add our Travis integration. and there will be a second branch called GitHub Pages. And into this branch, Lecter will commit automatically. So if we want to see this website, we can just go to uh, our username, app.io slash the name of the repository, which in this case is Lecter Demo. And 
apparently it didn't work. I need a typo. Yeah, apparently a typo. Sometimes it also can take some time uh, for uh, a page to show up on GitHub pages. However, from this moment on, change should be fairly straightforward, so we can do some changes on the site. So we can change the content page. And commit the changes. And Travis should start building this momentarily again. So one more thing that's, uh, that can help make the builds faster is that in the default configuration, Travis will download all the things over and over again and re rebuild the whole website from scratch. If you head down a little bit further, there's, um, there's an uh, explanation of how to enable the caching. And we can just do this by copy-pasting the cache part into our Travis config. Just open this with Atom. I just copy-paste this in. This will cache both the Python packages, which are installed, as well as the Lecter builds. And then future builds will be faster. I should see, has already updated. 